what should I do to get into the stock market? Let's do this. PK Master. Let's look at that. I'm going to screen share again. Okay. Brother, an Asian girl I dated bought four coins in 2009 just for fun. He's doing great indeed. Gang, I'm going to kill this camera right here. We're going to go screen share. And I'm going to let me give you the intro to this, right? Now, if you want to look at the stock market, right? And we're going to look at Wall Street. I don't recommend just going to Wall Street if you're going to even going to want to go into Wall Street. There are better places to invest and you can take a look at our personal finance investing playlist here's the link for it Boop. watch from the top video down and it'll give you an idea of what my perspective is on in regards to investing in personal finance and stuff like this but you can't deny that wall street is there and it gives us the opportunity to look at certain metrics right Le why the reason it does that is because there's a lot of data there right and it's market sentiment okay so what we're going to do right now is take a look at two main indicators which are the 50-day moving average and the 200-day moving average and we'll look at the bullying bullying bands right the one standard deviation away from their things if we have time by the way but a lot of people don't put enough value into the 50-day moving average and the 200-day moving average and we're going to look at some of the just a snapshot of a company if we want to look at a snapshot of the company right a bullinger bullinger bands yeah okay and that's one standard deviation. i believe it's one standard deviation away from um uh, from the average price from the uh, uh price of the stock right and then we might look at the um, MACD as well. I call it McLeod. I don't know why I call it that. M M A C D. I don't think we're going to take a look at that uh, in this stream. Wow, well, and Chicho, do you go through a company's balance sheet or financial statements when thinking of putting money into a stock? Uh, not usually. Only, only if it's. And by the way, I'm not into the market. This is not financial. Just not. I have family in the market that I talk to them, right? you should be listening if you're investing in a company you should be listening to their uh, conference okay their quarterly and yearly conference calls that they do you should be looking at their financials statements okay it reveals a lot lot as well as their projections as well as their history of meeting projections right if the management constantly comes out and says oh we're going to do this and they constantly underperform then they've built history if on the flip side the company comes out and says they're going to do this and they always outperform then they've built a history you have to take that into consideration so one thing that uh, i do do when i look at companies i follow companies for an extended period of time because you want to know what the news feed is regarding a company how the management is behaving and how the market is reacting to their news releases and to their stock right see with chicho let's look at the uh ty <laughs> what about newly public companies like ipos ipos um i don't part it's rare i have participated in ipos before a long time ago but it's rare and um there has been times where it could be times family this is not financial size da, 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 that is involved in pre-ipo as well okay it's a huge gamble right yes yes bigger gamble than just straight up buying stocks for sure ipos i'm going to take this down let's take a look at some of the stuff boink okay i'm going to close this i got the chat oh i got to turn off the chat on here we're going to turn that off so i turned off the chat that's going to appear on the screen because we've got this guy going on here okay and one bit of a financial advice i have for you uh, or just internet advice use DuckDuckDo as your ser search engine however that being said we will be looking at google finance to get a general feel for a company right general feel for a company this is the first time i see a chicho screen haha <laughs> check it out check it out okay now google finance you can click on it you can create playlists you can do whatever you want right here are some companies that i've been keeping track of right we'll take a look at one of these anyway 
this is a company if you don't know this do you use vpn uh the, yes vpn you should be using vpn do i use vpn all the time uh, no i flip between okay not always investo oop, let me link uh, link this up to you guys investopedia great site okay bookmark this site I don't, I'm not being paid by them. I don't have financial interest in this company or anything like this. I just use this site because you can look things up, right? Here, you can go here, do a little, here's a search, right? Oh no, log in anonymously. <laughs> I'm not, we're not, I'm not logging into anything, right? Oh, maybe I am, <laughs> but that's okay. It's just going to look at the thing. Chicho, there are also open source trackers. If not com comfortable, Google chunking up your investment data. Uh, for sure, for sure. But I do like, uh, because they can't link that up with anything else. Uh, trust me, I have multiple things going on, so it's it's okay, okay? Uh, it's not a big deal, okay? As far as I'm concerned, because uh, because of some of the things that I've mentioned in our personal finance playlist. Okay. Now take a look at this thing. Market watch. Okay. We're going to look at the chart and we're going to look at uh, just the Dow for now because the people talk a lot about the Dow. By the way, Oligar, thank you for the concern. Thank you for the concern. Okay. Uh, it's not a big deal because these are some of these things are some of the ones I've mentioned in our Discord as well. Chicho, I just wanted to say I love your cigar content. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, see why come CYKA Monster. CYKA a monster 99. <laughs> Check this out. Let's look at the Dow for now. Okay, you can go into Market Watch and put in any stock you want. I'm all about privacy. Elder God, I agree. I agree. The privacy should be the one of your main concerns if uh, if you're doing certain types of banking and stuff online or anything else really hi chicho market watch it's nice for pre and after market indeed mac dot 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 mark and by the way gang market watch has been around a long time they got a good reputation as far as i'm concerned okay they got a good reputation as far as i'm concerned in flows <laughs> thanks <laughs> Now take a look at this thing. We can, let's take a look at the Dow for now. And here's another another site, stock charts. Now we're not going to use this because I just you know I did another search. There are multiple other ones. Okay, if there are any websites that you like, post it, link it up on our Discord page, right? In personal finance, this court. Okay, and let people know, and we'll set up a database uh, where people are sharing websites that they use for information okay now this one you can do a lot of the stuff too i played around with this a little bit not too much i didn't like it because it wasn't going more than 10 years and stuff like this just keep that in mind stock charts uh, i don't know this company okay and there are others oh god actually i have a number account for online banking difficult to get but worth it oh i wish i had a numbered account elder god check this out let's do the dow jones for now okay now dow is the top 30 stocks in the, the u.s and stuff it's it is what it is right so if you click the dow or look into any company right you can do a search here and type in a company name right but let's look at the dow for now right so when you go here you can go to this uh not uh not to forget finvex 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 is that a website a trading site thank you for sharing it make dot 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 uh i wish i hear we'll do finvex fin viz fin not vex fin viz what is this stock screener here i'm gonna pin this okay let's go back here now take a look at this thing when you go down here you can go to this here advanced charting 
okay have you checked out wall street bets or invest uh, investing subreddits i've heard a lot about that i used to be uh i have right um not too deep but i used to go and forums are a great place if you're looking into playing the markets i don't care what markets they are right if you're into comic books go into comic book forums if you're into trading wall street uh stocks look find forums that you like and talk to people seriously you're out of your mind if you're not talking to others online when it comes to investing right uh to to a large degree if you're let me let me put it this way if you're not if if you're into trading flipping okay now take a look at this thing you can go here and go to advanced charting click advanced charting okay what that does it takes you to another page right opens up and you got your different days here uh different periods that you can look at things right you can frequency you can do a daily weekly monthly quarterly yearly uh you can do line or candlestick dot dots or whatever i usually stick with line uh initial look initial look wobbin i'm uh, talking to my cat about investing in a good nap <laughs> he's bullish on naps nice most cats are right and then what you see here is here i've saved this i'm going to take these guys down this is i was playing around with this right so here let me take this down 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 and we're going to add these things uh, as we build it right so if you go to the dow jones industrial average right this is the chart for the dow for the last five years this is the time frame you pick i've picked here right you can look at it for one day come here look at it for one day this is what you see let me see if i can make this a little tighter there we go is that better let me see if that's uh, better for you guys yeah that's better that shows the whole shebang okay let me take this down i've never uh learned how to read and appreciate candlestick uh, candlesticks now candlesticks just basically top and the bottom right and it give breaks it down good candlesticks will break down the standard deviations as well right or different things in there uh we'll take a look at that stuff i haven't looked at that candlestick for a while so i have to refresh myself on that okay but line graph is a good way to look at this so this is a one day trading for the dow here's the five day right Here's the 10 day. Here's the one month. Here's the three months. Here's the six month. Okay. Here's a year to date, YTD. Here's the one year, Dow, right? And here's the percent it tells you, right? It's gone up. It should be 53. I don't know why it says it this way. Da, 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 da. Oh, that's for today. Oh, unfortunately, it doesn't show you this. Here. Here's one reason I do Google. Take a look at this. Let's go to the Dow Jones. Here's the Dow, right? If you click on one year on Google Finance, and I'm, I know other, other websites do this, right? It tells you how much the Dow has increased in one year, 30% in the last year, right? You can go one day, went up 0.15 percent which is that's what's showing here but this is only showing the one day if you go here five days it's gone up 0.62 percent one month has gone up 2.8 percent six month has gone up 13.11 percent year to date up 15 percent 16 percent in one year 30 percent that's a huge gain in one year again in five years the dow is up 88 percent that is a huge gain gain huge gain okay keep that in mind and maximum the dow jones is up three thousand five hundred percent since 1981 that's how far back it goes okay 1981 you can take it further but the dow came to the s p you can take further okay s p i think they they changed the names this basket the dow came i'm assuming it came to be in 1981 okay so that's one of the benefits of the Google Finance that they have there, right? Now we can go back here. Here's the two year, and this was the lockdowns kicking in, right? Keep that in mind. That's a that's a marker there. 
you can reference things based on that three year five year ten year and you can do the whole thing all right so this chart and this goes back to the Dow takes it back down to 1970 right so market watch provides you more data okay and you can do your own percent gain by the Dow was trading at 838 in uh, 1970 and right now sitting at 34,000 35,000 right and you can just subtract and figure out what the percent gain is there right now Google Finance used to have the ability to do metrics on it it does not anymore do not put your weight investments your your trust in Google okay they really I can't or don't learn their tools learn the tools you need to learn to be able to do what you need to do off of Google platforms personally and as a business personal finance advice right here okay chalk walk chalk a cat walk a <laughs> cat call uh, seeking alpha is good for uh, that time frame percent change um, effect too uh, but that site has the most brain dead lunatic commentary on his site is it I don't know that site okay now let's go back here now in here you can do and you can do this on other sites as well right this one lays out the the metrics here chart overlays chart overlays means it's going to put it on the data itself okay this data itself lower charts here so chart overlays this one this puts it on the chart right the, where the data is chart lower charts is what's going to be put down here okay it's extra charts that you could take a look at and you can mark the events such as dividends earnings splits and whatnot and news uh news density whatever i don't i haven't done that right uh founded november 1882 uh, the dow jones 1882 cool 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 so re return on that from 1882 would be a gazillion percent right now take a look at this thing if we do the chart overlay we can do moving average or uh, sorry exponential moving average or simple moving average let's do those two now the difference between simple moving average and exponential moving average is simple moving average is just the average price over a certain uh, number of days right and it's not weighted the exponential moving average is a weighted moving average where it gives more weight to more recent um, stock prices okay now I'm going to show both and you can see the variation between these and it's up to you which one you want to use for doing data analysis. Some people like exponential moving average. They say that is better indicator for what the stock is doing because it's putting more weight on what the stock price has been more recently. Some people say no, they want simple moving average because they're looking for an extended period of time, right? Especially if right if the beta is not huge and the beta is half fluctuation of the stock if it's moving up you know rapidly or it's fairly tight range right doesn't do huge moves okay so let's put the exponential moving average on here now this is all the data right so it's everything so we're not going to stick on this the whole data set for too long because it takes too long for it to process right so this is what the simple moving um this is what the exponential moving average looks like and right now this is you can click on here and you can see it popping up here so let me take it off see this there's nothing here right and i can go exponential moving average boop and it shows you where it's popped up right and you can click on edit and right now it's graphing the 20 day moving average so the black line that you see is the 20 day trading average right now take a look at here if you could look at it zoom in and we will zoom into it you can see that the market bottom occurred basically almost at the 20 day or you can add another metric or change this i like the 50 day personally you can add the 50 day and the 50 day is here 
right so for the huge bounce it actually did come down to the 50 days just not showing you right because when it f dropped when the lockdowns kicked in right the the dow dropped to around 18,000 18,500 or so and the 50 day shows us so we're going to look at the 50 day right uh lark park hello chicho good evening friend how are you doing doing well lark park thank you very much now this is the exponential moving average remember it's weighing it more towards um recent price of the stock right or the market okay and by the way you could close this by just saying close Doink. see that edit open it up change your day and then close okay tasker harris hey chicho unrelated but just wanted to give you thanks about using coconut oil i tried it and it's been doing wonders already awesome yeah once i started using coconut oil for shaving never went back to anything else it's absolutely amazing i'm glad and it's cheap 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 personal finance advice so cheap using coconut oil to shave with just a little bit okay and it's good for the skin sleepy ways i'm confused why are you calling it calling it 50 day if we're looking at timeline for years ah take a look at this thing this is the the timeline from 1970 to 2020 to now to today okay to today so much cheaper but the 50 day moving average does this sleepy waves it takes the last 50 days right and averages that price and plots the data point right plus the data point and then it goes back one day and takes the previous 50 days so you're moving back slowly one day at a time right and averages that data and plots it averages that data and plots it so the black line you see there i'm talking about these data points okay i'm talking about these data points right the fluctuation that you see there the blue line is right now we're on uh, what are we on we're on quarterly because we're looking from 1970 to uh to today it's looking at it quarterly every three months right that was the average trading okay lark park speaking of the pandemic california is back uh to indoor mask mandatory any who that's another story for another another story for another time starting saturday crazy 11 59 p.m uh got it it's the average of every 50 days yeah this one is not 50 days it's uh the quarterly one right but let's here i, I just want to show you this we'll dig down into it when we get into a shorter time frame okay thank you for your service thank you for your service all the god says cat call check this out check this out uh but up uh, military i guess that's why ha ha i use water only uh, cat call says now this was the exponential moving average the 50 day let's do the simple moving average okay should plot it and we're gonna do i believe this is what's it doing right now this is the 50 day i'm gonna take the 200 day out remove the 200 day because i don't want the 200 day in there right so take a look at this thing the exponential is the black line and the green line is the simple 50 day moving average if we look at today right or in the last 50 whatever the quarter or quarterly timeline is here right the simple moving average the green line is sitting at 19,000 you won't be able to see it because it's too small and the black line is sitting at 21,000 so 2,000 difference between them okay so there is a minor difference between the simple moving simple moving average and the exponential moving average right and we're going to zoom into a shorter time frame now you're going to see how that changes right that's why i say some people like the simple moving average more some people like the exponential moving average more up to you which one you want to use okay let's zoom in zoom down 
and see which one in the time frame shrink down the time frame so this is all the data let's look at the 10 year we're going to keep it there right that's the 10 year data here's the five year data and they're getting closer now right now take a look at this thing 10 year 10 year this guy was automatically setting it at quarterly right when you go to five year now it's monthly every month right you're getting your data points and it's getting tighter right they're following each other more closely you go to the three year not bad okay two year one year okay and they follow each other very closely six months three months three months start to you see a bigger difference here right because there's a way bigger movement okay so the let's see here's here's one indicator the black line check out the black line when you see the data moving according on a line right on bouncing off a line or skimming a line either on the top or on the bottom then that line is probably more accurate for that period than the pre than the other line right so take a look at this thing from this time frame from june 2022 uh, 2021 while uh, june wait a second now what are we in oh we're in three months that's right for uh june 21st to june 23rd the exponential moving average was pretty good because the line was skimming it and then for this period it was a simple moving average from june 28 and 29 it was following it better right so you might want to look at both of them because they're both support lines and resistance lines and that's what these things are and I'll explain to you what those mean okay and then you can go to one month and then you can go to 10 days and 10 days it just becomes you know people do this on a day if you're day trading you're looking at the stuff right and then you can do one day which is a minute based on a minute right every minute taking it 50 data points plotting it right and you can see bounces happening here right so you can follow this work follow this trend right take a look at that stuff do you see a trend happening for sure because the averages are a reflection of the data right it's just taking out the noise right that's the way you should think about it these averages are just removing the noise so you can see the trends better okay so let's kick this up to the yearly okay and up to you guys which one do you want to use do you want to do you guys want to use the exponential moving average or simple moving average you guys let me know while i pop another plum delicious so juicy actually i'm gonna pop two plums it's really good these plums i wouldn't pick them today from uh, just up the street local local trees amazing sleepy bay six exponential let's keep the exponential going okay i'm gonna kill the simple so i'm gonna x this out boom and the symbol disappears data set looks cleaner all right and you want to work with a clean data set until you get used to all the metrics now the other thing you can do in the exponential moving average as i said you can change the dates days on it right you can make this 50 day 20 day and then what you can do is add another line right automatically it turns it into 20 day right you saw the green line pop up so now the green line is the 20 day moving average but I don't want to look at the 20 day. I want to look at the 200 day, right? And I changed the 20 to 200, and now you see another line here, right? The green line in the bottom, and the 200 day moving average is lagging to a certain degree, right? And it's also giving you a serious support level, right? Where the support is, right? so it's giving you how far 
something is above is 200 day moving average because the way you can think about it is this when a stock price deviates too far from the 200 day moving average the 200 day moving average acts like a magnet and pulls the stock either down or up the 50 day moving average does the same thing but it's faster fluctuations and the movements could the 50 day could move faster okay all i can hear is next slide please next slide please <laughs> right so check this out and you can add more you can add other metrics here let's put in the 20 day again you can go oops, i dropped my mouse apologies about that gang drop the mouse okay now the other you can thing you can do you can add more days but we're not going to remove right cheryl sorry about that gang oh my god <laughs> the ears the ears is rare i don't think i've ever dropped a mouse on this table right oh no i'm sorry guys i'm sorry i'm sorry uh has, have your ears recouped should i eat another prompt that drop was not asmr no i'm awake now oh my god it was that loud eh oops now i'll let you guys recoup i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna eat a couple of hazelnuts i know i was just starting to relax oh no <laughs> i'll try to make sure it doesn't happen again sleepy wave so the 200 day line is basically showing the lowest averages the stock has reached right no not the lowest averages sleep waves is taking the last 200 days right or 200 periods i guess you can think about it and averaging them so if a stock is doing this right it's gone up like this then the average of that period would be right in the middle right if the stock is doing fluctuations then it's taking the average of those 200 days and putting a point on there and then what it does is it's a window it zooms back and does the same thing and you can see that 99 data points are going to be the same as uh, 199 data points are going to be the same as the next data point next average you're going to take it's just adding one more point okay that's what's going on every time i hear recoup i think a cliff diving <laughs> greetings dr p how are you doing cat oh cat call you say like a magnet but the thing to remember is the market is irrational and only lives by people's and wealthy firms opinions speculations gamble and dependent on many on those indeed and also by the way catwalk don't forget automation most of the trades that you see happening on wall street right now is an algorithm doing the trading okay it's an algorithm doing the trading so that's one of the reasons when the price of a stock deviates really far from their averages <coughs> from their averages <coughs> don't eat hazelnuts and talk <coughs> yeah definitely automation when it deviates a lot from the averages the automation kicks in and really the automation is telling it hey this is deviated too far from the averages and it's going to start pulling it back down or pulling it back up again right now keep in mind the boolean bands are in play there's a lot of if any algorithm any ai should be taken into consideration the short play you know how much how, um what the volume is how many stocks are available and stuff like this right dr p i say we all go blockchain we all go blockchain anyways <laughs> how are we supposed to play with algorithms uh that's the kicker sleepy waves right hazelnuts are great but water indeed they'll but water or juicy plums um uh, 
it's sleepy waves that's the thing you have to appreciate that you can't compete with the algorithm if you're a human being you need to algorithms trade faster and what you need to do is appreciate how the algorithms have been behaving and really appreciate the factor that algorithms function when there's function well when there's liquidity in the markets once liquidity drops either on the upside or the downside the algorithms have major hiccups and you see movements insane movements and if you're aware of those movements you can take advantage of those movements okay elder god the machine the machine has too much control what happened to the to the main in the uh, uh, man in the office man in the office is is no longer there uh, there's there is the man in the office is basically the top management treating everybody else as a machine may they be human or not right uh, unfortunately unfortunately right so keep these two lines in mind right the 50-day moving average and the 200-day moving average now why are these lines important because they follow sentiment in large part sentiment has a huge part to play in trading okay for example let's talk about the 50-day moving average this is one year let's zoom in a little closer let's go six months no 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 let's stick with one year i like the there's more fluctuation here right now in general the idea of sentiment is this the idea of the averages is this when a stock is trading above its 50-day moving average or 200 day moving average or whatever day moving average you want to look at 50 and 200 are the top two okay catwalk the main the man in the office is a salary with benefits that can't work they can't work 24 7 days per week to the big companies yep that's why the man in the office is slowly being replaced right so here's the idea of the the averages right may it be the 50-day moving average 200-day moving average or whatever moving average you want to talk think about right when a stock is trading above the average people who have money in that stock tend to be happy right they don't worry about that company that stock that investment right when the stock moves close to the 50-day moving average and the 50-day moving average represents the average price that somebody has bought that stock for the 50 days right that's what it represents that's exactly what it represents for the 200-day moving average it's the average price firms companies individuals have paid for that stock right so if you're making money if you're in the plus of this stock that you've invested in right then you're not too concerned about it once the price starts coming down and touches the average price which is the average price which could you could think about as the price that you paid right then you're going to go hmm i hope it goes up i hope it doesn't go down right and if people have been following this stock for a while and it's been trading above the 50-day moving average and it comes down to the 50-day moving average they're going to go oh sweet i can pay the price of a 50-day moving average to buy this that means um i averaged down to a certain degree right and that acts as a support level and it bounces the stock up or it could bounce the stock up sometimes when you see it corrections the price cuts through the 50-day moving average real fast and what happens once you're below the 50-day moving average there's pressure on that stock or the 200-day moving average for people to sell before their losses become too much right so people start selling so there's a little bit of pressure on it or people that wanted to buy in they start buying in right and then what you see sometimes is the price jumps up above the 50 day and does bounces around the 50 day because the market is now indecisive people aren't sure if they want to hold on for more gains or sell before they have more losses so the stock price starts doing this bouncing around 
the 50 day moving average or 200 day moving average or 20 day moving average right it's the same sentiment when the stock price is below those averages when the stock price is below those averages there's a weight on this right when the stock price starts moving up and touches an average then there's a lot of people saying oh thank god i recoup my money sell 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 right sell 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 right so the 50-day moving average acts as a bigger resistance in my opinion than a support right because people start selling they go oh sell 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 because i don't want to deal with losses right until it goes above and then people are willing to buy again and those jumps above these sort of support and resistance levels are called um, uh, breakouts right on the way up it's a breakout right so if there's a certain line average that people are following that they've given weight to when it goes above that people say oh the stock is doing a breakout and if it closes above this level then the stock might do a run up okay that's the way people think about these things okay that's where the market sentiment comes into play not economically viable oh god for the man catwalk no it won't work or end well if people don't have money to spend when more things become automated that's where they're the the powers that be capitals powers hoping ubi will kick in which is basically slavery it's going to keep it's going to uh put a lot of people in uh, in poverty uh you need people to have disposable income it can't it cannot be held but uh such few no machines don't buy shoes simple they buy parts though right they buy parts they need maintenance uh, they use energy right so certain markets do profit certain markets will not right it so it's it's not just you're replacing something where it's not going to consume anymore you're replacing something that was consuming certain types of products with something that's going to consume other types of products right so keep that in mind gang a lot of people say automation is is going to kill the economy which economy which market right a lot of people are going to get uh, burnt Alaga, sleepy waves so when i i am trying to look into buying a stock at what what average is it good to buy in when it's under under the 50 average line assuming it would go back up well if you're if you're going to be buying if if a stock goes below the 50 day moving average goes below it with volume right and bounces 50 day moving average can't break through it if it starts skimming it it could go either way up or down right but if you think it's going to go down again starts going down then the 200 day moving average in general is a good support level the 200 day moving average is one of the most solid support levels there is it can cut through it but it does tend to bounce take a look at this thing like here's the one year chart right here's the 200 day moving average in on what is this uh, September 23rd it did a bounce off the 200 day moving average went up over here it broke in November uh, end of October beginning of November it was below the 200 day moving average down here and then it kicked back up and cut through the 50 day moving average like butter right and over here in this area you see the um 50 day moving average acting as a bounce line and over here too 50 day moving average acting as a bounce line right so it really depends if you're planning on buying into a certain stock you should follow that stock for a certain period of time or at least look at the chart right look at the chart to see how it's behaving is it constantly breaking through the 50 day moving average if it's constantly breaking through the 50-day moving average then maybe the 50-day moving average is not acting as a good support or a solid resistance 
maybe you need to look at the 200 day moving average if the 200 day moving average is holding out well for an extended period of time then maybe if it hits the 200 day moving average that would be a good time to buy into a stock right <laughs> oh my god machine economics indeed evil to hope there's no fear about automation the automated uh, devices need people to build sell and maintain plus a backup in place when they uh, outright fail of work with automated devices for two decades yeah yeah uh, that being said there are machines that build machines so some of that stuff is gonna become even more automated and in general you don't need as many people to maintain a machine than people that can mimic a machine all right uh, but there are jobs that are created in other industries uh, services indeed uh, both for the machinery and uh, other things right sleepy waves could we look at another stock using these two lines sure which stock do you want to look at before we do let me show you one more metric let me show you one more metric. how's our time we've got about half an hour left let me show you one more metric and this is the Bull bullinger bo um, bands okay this is important bullinger bands are basically the one standard deviation away let's look at tesla you want to look at tesla sure that's one standard deviation away from i believe it's one standard deviation away. i should look this up a little bit more one standard deviation away uh, from the stock price right and the bollinger bands act as resistance right because anything that goes away one standard deviation from its price point again that price point acts like a magnet and pulls it towards it right two standard deviations a lot more because one standard deviation 66 no 65 points whatever amount of data is in one standard deviation away from a point right and two standard deviations contains 95 percent of the data right so the stock is going to tr be trading within that range two standard deviations 95 percent of the time and 65 percent of the time it's going to be trading within one standard deviation away all right okay nah i don't i want to look at Taylor you want to look at Taylor which okay we need a second which who wants to look at Tesla who wants to look at Taylor okay so keep the uh, Bullinger band Bullinger bands in mind as well okay who wants to look at I'm an old-fashioned kind of guy 500 bucks in my wallet good pair of shoes and a cot to sleep in haha <laughs> oh my god <laughs> don't become a lighthouse keeper don't become a lighthouse keeper which one do we, want? we can take a look at both of them here let's look take a look at both of them let's look at uh tesla first so we can um we can save this store the setting so i'm going to store the setting check this out in here it's got a store setting i just played around with this today right so we're storing the setting it's got that thing set up here so what we're going to do is we're going to look at tesla tesla symbol is tsla okay Tesla and let's look at the advanced chart so it pops up this is where it's trading at and here's Tesla right now what's happening with Tesla right now is pretty cool right looks like it's bouncing I'm sorry if this isn't big enough I haven't figured out how to make this bigger unless other than moving into this lower time frame we will right let's take a look at this thing tesla right now is bouncing on the 50 day moving average it's, it's, it did a skim off the 50 day now it's touching the 50 day from the one year look on it right it's still above the 200 day and the bullinger bands are are let me show it to you this way are coming in together and that is going to indicate major movement either on the up or down okay this is not financial advice my guess is going to be on the up okay now since we got tesla up let's zoom in closer so we're going to cut this in half now and look at the six month can you take the bands out take the bands out sure let's take the bands out and here's the bands right uh 
multiplier two and 20 day we should have done the 50 day doing 50 day 50 day is better should we keep the 50 day do you want to keep the 50 day or no 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 worries about the caps uh, sleepy waves do you think ellen intentionally does press on a timeline to cause the spouse oh yeah oh yeah ellen is uh, plays the market like like mad he's one of the best market players there is right so should we take out the uh, bullinger bands we can take him out 50 day looks better i like the 50 day tell you the truth i don't do the two uh 20 day okay sleepy ways do you want it in or out i'm going to pop another plum while you make a decision another plum what the bands are think about this okay it's basically no bands play music no bands. so bands bands play music bands play music basically the fifth the a bullinger bands is telling you the stock is trading within that range for a certain period of time but let's take them out we'll talk about bullinger bands later what because it is cleaner right so you can take a look at this so this is a one-year chart for tesla okay we can see here where it went really above the 200 day and then boom 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 pulls it back pretty much did a bounce off the 200 day here skim the 200 day here bounce between the 250 day came into a channel and this is called coming into a channel now it's breakout a breakout from a channel so this indicates that it might be popping up uh, stock market is gambling <laughs> evil to hope let's look at the six month right here's the six month okay here is the three month right now you guys decide if you were into buying if or if you were into playing tesla would you be going long or short on this so playing powerball is like being a stock trader uh, yeah but you're on the pink sheets right i won 1350 during euro champion ah right on great investment well it depends how much you put in elder god here's the one month here's the 10 we're not going to look at the 10 day really 10 day five day because this is getting into day trading right and one day right so it's going back up again right let's stick here's one month three months let's stick with the six month okay that's the six month for tesla oh that's the profit nice oh you won okay nice 1350 nice sleep it seems that when it goes under it keeps jumping over the 50 day line well some stocks some not so right some not so right so let's take a poll right now who thinks and this is the best way to do this by the way keep this in mind right now you can do a what do you call it just a, a play right make a note tesla is trading at 650 right on july 15th 2021 make a note for yourself if you were playing this would you go long or short long meaning do you think this is going to go up or do you think this is going to go down okay you decide here's the one year okay here's the two year now we should look at further watch this now the two year we're into weekly um 50 day moving average 50 week moving average and 200 week moving average do you believe allocating at least 15 percent of each paycheck should be put into stocks of some kind no i don't think they should be put into stocks only i think you should take 15 percent and invest it somewhere i i don't agree that it should go into the stock market no that's keeping uh, uh a beast alive why would you do that 
stupid waves i'm talking about tesla like it goes under the black line but then it comes uh back up yeah to a certain degree it's it's showing good strength right if you go to the one year again it's going below it like i said it's acting as a magnet right so it goes below the 50-day moving average take a look at this this part here right this is um march 8 2021 it went below the 50-day and bounced basically off the 200-day moving average and went up to the 50-day so the stock was here cut went below the 50-day bounced on the 50-day came back down hit the 200-day the 200-day acted as a support bounced it back above the 50-day now the 50-day was fairly high relative to the 200 day so the 200 day was acting like a magnet and pulling the 50 day down as well right because the 50 days the average of the stock price so the stock keeps on bouncing between the 250 day when it does that it's called going into a channel right trading channel to a certain degree with the bullier uh, bullinger bands coming in and then breaks happen when that happens either on the downside or upside okay elder god looks steady evil to hope high reward high risk high reward high risk zam z ambitious z are you a lighthouse keeper <laughs> i did watch the lighthouse a couple of days ago though what a movie what a movie now keep this in mind so this is a daily moving average when we go into the two year now we're into the 50 week moving average and 200 week moving average right and you're taking a look at this and going oh okay if you have a two-year time frame in mind we'll look at uh, Tilray um sleepy waves after this i'm just going to zoom out on the on the time frame on this okay if you're looking at this you're going holy camoles this thing is so far above the 200 uh, weekly moving average the 200 weekly moving average for for uh tesla is 200 and what is that 290 dollars right and right now it's trading a 650 dollars is it going to cut, cut through butter is it is it is this going to do is tesla going to do what it does what it what it does on a yearly basis as what it did on a uh basically monthly basis weekly basis right so this is daily in one year and here is weekly right do you see sort of a same type of effect right see the difference here between the 50 day and 200 day moving average in the stock price and then when you go to two year look at that it's doing the same thing because we're looking at the same time frame right now is this in here going to do what the one year did right but if because if you look at that over here that's where it would be and is it going to cut through that is it going to go down possibly ambition ah nice ambition thank you for telling me how to how to pronounce your name evil to hope would you recommend fo focusing on a few shares shares high cost stocks or a higher uh, quantity of low cost stocks i would say diversify into both here's the three-year chart right for tesla like look at this thing right here's the five-year chart and five-year chart you no longer have the 200 day 200 month period oh yeah we forgot to mention the month so on the three-year you're still in a weekly basis take a look at this and you can change this by by the way you could change it to a monthly and it just smooths the whole thing out right but keep it on a weekly on a three-year basis you could change it on a daily it's going to be really noisy look at that they can't even do it it won't even do it actually right when you go to five year now it's doing it on a monthly basis you can do this on a weekly as well let's see if you'll do it it does do it nice so here's a weekly for a five-year chart 50 week average the black line 200 week avler average and the weekly average price right for tesla as of july 11th i guess right 2021 right 
and then 10 year evil tool i appreciate all of this guaranteed financial advice you're giving i am going to put everything i have into the market now don't do it here's the 10 year right 10 year quarterly this thing's just insane right tesla just basically came about 10 years ago right here's the all right like 11 years ago it came to be so in 10 years it's done this this thing wants to do the calculation on a quarterly basis but not enough data so let's change it to a monthly basis let's see what we see here it is on a monthly basis can we do it on a weekly basis weekly basis we should get the 200 day as well nice so levic dishes then so lin vicious victus 10 wow right indeed now let me tell you for family i had bought into tesla for them back in 2010 2011 okay 2010 2011 stock price was after split tesla did a five for one split or one to five yeah five for one split it was 25 dollars at the time now it's five dollars now it's 650 dollars. that's your return right and this is what it looks like right now on a 10-year basis on a weekly chart okay can we even do it will it even do a daily i doubt it oh a daily doesn't no it won't do a daily it kicks back into quarterly right how much of my total assets should be in the market which market you mean wall street what's the best frequency to use it's up to you i think you should take a look at all of them sleepy waves the more data you have the better okay so as far as i'm concerned take a look at the weekly and take a look at the monthly right wow this is seriously above the monthly average right take a look at both of them nothing wrong with it yeah what percent should be in wall street uh for me i got zero percent on wall street okay just letting you know now we've done this let's look at tilray let's bring up another chart let's store the setting let's go tilray disclaimer gang family has oh how come tilray is not coming up on market watch don't tell me it doesn't do tilray oh maybe more no market watch must do advanced search let's do advanced search let's see tilray search advanced search keywords new source Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't look like it does Tilray Market Watch. I don't know why I wouldn't do Tilray. Maybe Tilray's market cap here. We can go here. Let's look at Tilray. All right. It's on the Nasdaq. It should do it, but it's not. Let's see Tilray Inc. Copy. All right. Here's Tilray. They are censoring jewelry honestly <laughs> wait even more of a reason to <laughs> to go buy this stock <laughs> nice let's go let's do a search again jewelry oh there it is nice i don't know why i wasn't doing it let's do the canadian there you go what the hell investment in free stocks so we're gonna go to advanced charting again okay oh it doesn't have very much data on it why not oh it's only got this much data on it that's pooper scooper what what okay hold on let's do another search tilray 
Let's do the Nasdaq. Maybe the Nasdaq data has more. All right. And by the way, certain stocks trade on multiple uh, exchanges, right? So Tilray trades on the Canadian uh, stock exchange. I believe in Vancouver or was it TSX? No, I it must be TSX. Uh, Nasdaq and as well as the France one, I believe. I'm down to look at Hexo, if not at the sad uh sad ass data i know hexo hexo and tilray i family has uh disclaimer family has positions in both uh tilray and hexo uh take a look at this so this is 10 year let's go to five year let's go to three year here's the three year chart let's do the daily oh i won't do the daily it doesn't have enough data so three year uh, chart for Tilray it doesn't really give you too much information. It tells you where it started, where it ended up, uh, how high it went, and where it is now. So the peak on it is $148, $150, right? Right now it's trading at $14. That's 90% below its peak. For me, when a legit company in a legit market is 90% below their peak, is a good time to seriously start looking at them when they're 95 percent and possibly build a position in them when they're 95 percent below their peak if it's a legitimate company in a legitimate market it might be a good time to build a heavy position in them if it's 99 percent below their top and it's a legitimate company in a legitimate market personally i have gone heavy on certain stocks on that way in the past would you suggest investment in energy futures? No, futures is a different game, man. Futures is a different game. Here's the two-year chart. Let's do daily. Nice. We're getting. All right. And take a look at this thing. Tilray is, fluctuates a lot. That's a 200-day moving average, the green, right? Why is it like that? Was because, you know, if you did the three-year chart, it was trading at $146, $150. Here's the one-year chart right again there was a huge peak it went from and by the way again when it was trading down here at around you know less than 10 less than 5 when it was around 250 because it went from 19 dollars and then covid uh lockdowns hit it dropped down to 253 dollars and i sort of said it's it's a company that i'm seriously looking at seriously looking at and i sort of recommend that it might be a great company to buy into in from there it went from 253 dollars and it peaked at 60 over 60 dollars right and during that time i was saying i would be selling 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 and for me i've mentioned that and it came down and right now family disclaimer has position in tilray right now take a look at this thing above way above the 50 day and 200 day right way above and it's gone exponential uh, logarithmic exponential did you buy at three dollars uh sleepways i can't say uh information i can only tell you that i personally i have not gone into the market okay but i did recommend to people that might be a good i mean i did it online as well right uh during the live streams i was mentioned it a few times i think you were really asking me sleepy waves was it you that was really pushing which ones which ones can you tell us your social security number? <laughs> I'm able to uh, do any of uh, the free speech platforms sell stocks um, I don't know elder God right and then what it's doing is it started dropping down like mad doing bounces bouncing off the 50 day going up to you know bouncing off the 50 day which was $21 going up to 30 something and then went cut through the 50 day and bounced below the 50 day and then came down hit the 200 day bounced the 200 day hit the 50 day bounced the 200 day broke through the 200 day right and that's not a good sign and then went back up skimmed the 200 day went up went into a channel broke on the upside on the 50 day right lava, i love a, yes i wanted to learn about them and look at me now still learning about uh, sleepy waves there's nothing wrong with learning about these things 
it took me a long time to get a handle on the markets right now Tillery went above the 50 day right and the 50 day was 18 and the, the uh, 50 uh, exponential moving average 50 day was 18 the 200 day was 15 and the stock traded at 21 looked like it was going to do a breakout and then it broke through the 50 day and kept on bouncing between the 50 and 200 day now if you look at zoom into this it's hit the 200 day here this is the three months chart we're looking at this is a daily right hit the 200 day came up to the 50 day did a little bounce and then broke through the 50 day went up above the 50 day cut through the 50 day again came back down tried to bounce above went above came back down sort of fluctuating between the 50 day now it's gone and hit the 200 day right and it's trading below the 200 day moving average that's pressure right that's pressure did it do that before sure it did right here see this it went below the 200 day now one thing you have to consider is it's important as well is the direction that the 50 day and the 200 day are taking are they on the way down or on the way up when they're on the way up they pull a stock up when they're way on the way down they pull a stock down right right now the 50 day and 200 day seem to be fairly flat for tilray important right oh, looks like the 50 day is on the way down but the 200 day still has an uptrend to it right elder god i like to invest for the future money is great but protecting the financial future of my nieces is my primary objective yeah indeed you got it we got to take care of family because they were they are one of the best investments that anyone can make because for most people your family will be there when you need them right you're investing in your future right they will be there till your last breath for most people right so is tillery a good buy it's under heavy pressure it's under heavy pressure right but it's below the 200 day is it going to do a repeat and go hit the 50 day and keep on going up or is it going to continue to go down and you can say the same thing regarding tesla right that was good data we looked at gang i'm going to turn my camera back on because uh we're up to two hours okay and uh we covered a fair bit let me turn on the chat as well ah the kitty cats are waking up boom lots of chat lots of chitter chat whoop they're playing elder god evil no evil to hope the family are very valuable in the right market remember so I <laughs> funny elder god money is a tool not the holy grail indeed a lot of people forget that right they think money is the end game it's not so the data said it can go either way basically right it the data basically told us there's going to be movement happening with Tilray. right which way is it going to go back where we started back where we started <laughs> indeed indeed <laughs> elder god seven movie club ah oh, nice let's pick seven oh nice gang we got one more stream coming up in this set and that's on saturday thank you elder god saturday from 1 p.m to 3 p.m pdt my time we're gonna recommend movies and watch movies for our movie club streams that we do so we're gonna get some homework uh, movie homework that we need to we need to do to watch some movies we just went, did a movie review last stream yesterday and we're gonna pick movies on saturday if you can make it so drinking water out of a cup made of one dollar bills won't give me eternal life no i'll probably kill you it'll probably kill you i'm jealous it's 11 p.m your time and not 1 a.m like it is in the east coast yeah uh, nightlife is not a bad life i don't mind nightlife I want good nominations this time. Me too. No Buck Rogers, please. Steve Wiss, thank you, Chicho, for this breakdown. I really enjoyed looking at the data. My pleasure. I have my nominations ready. Nice. I got to get mine ready. I got to think. Gang, 
Thank you for being here. If you want to know what this work is about, I am on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Chicho, C-H-Y-C-H-O. If you want to support this work, if you want to follow this work, Patreon is a good way to do so. I don't put anything behind paywall. Everything's creative commons. Share and share a like, gang. Share and share a like. And for those of you that are supporting this work on Patreon, gang, thank you very much for the support. Evil to Hope, thank you, Choo Choo, for sharing your knowledge, insight, and humor. <laughs> My pleasure. I like the humor part. We are live streaming on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Chicho Live, C H Y C H O L I V E. If you want to participate in the chat, Twitch is where you want to be out in gang. Thank you for the follows. Thank you for the subs and mods. Thank you for taking care of business, Elder God, financial streamers, someone nomination, a good financial based movie. Oh, yeah not a bad idea let me think about that too what's a good financial uh, movie financial series one is uh, an anime it was an amazing series had a lot of currency involved I would I would have loved to have talked about currency in, in this as well maybe in the next one we'll take a look at currencies gang I do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on mines VK gap parlor bit clout and we do have a discord page you can come to our twitch channel anytime you want and type in exclamation mark social and all those links will pop up including our discord link right there right and you're welcome to join us um, on that server wall street with michael dogs i was thinking about that too punisher max <laughs> right greed is good greed is very good there's amazing wall street documentaries uh, by the way market documentaries wolf of wall street is really good too i've seen that and the other one uh the one about the housing market uh with, with the guy calling the puts uh with uh the batman guy hey, that was really good i forget what it was called we will be uploading the audio of this live stream to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho as a podcast and this podcast should be available on your favorite podcasting platform, including Spotify and iTunes. And we will be uploading this live stream. The Big Short. Yes, Bugsy. That was a great movie. And we will be uploading this live stream to SensorTube, to Bitchu, to Rumble, and to Odyssey. And for those of you that are supporting this work on all these platforms or any of these platforms, gang, thank you very much for the support. The kitty cats are doing a little wrestling and gang don't forget as always free assange free assange free assange julian assange the publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or our julian assange and wikileaks playlist on sensor 2. aside from that gang i'll see you in a couple of days saturday 1 p.m to 3 p.m my time or 1 p.m starting my time for movie recommendations is there one on the wall street crash of uh 20 uh 1929 i've seen one black and white one i can't remember what the name was it was pretty good there was one that was recent what was it oh man that was a brilliant movie that was a charlie chaplin movie there was a charlie chaplin movie that does it it was really good we'll try to be there awesome clandestine gang i hope you have a fantastic next couple of days I'll see you guys on Saturday if you can make it. Bye, everyone.